Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. She always stays up late at the weekend. Ashley was sometimes late for class last month. I don't usually watch reality shows on TV. Have my students ever got tired of my lessons? Rarely would he speak his own language in class. In this lesson, we're going to talk about adverbs of frequency. So stay tuned. Let me start first with the meaning of adverbs. What are they? They are words or phrases that modify the meaning of verbs, adjectives, or even adverbs. There can be time, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of degree, and adverbs of manner. In this lesson, I said that we're going to talk about adverbs of time or adverbs of frequency. They usually answer the question, how often? So, for example, how often do you go to school? I always go to school. And this is always would be the uh, adverb of frequency. So they are placed before the main verb, but there are exceptions. I'm going to get to that in a minute. So I listed some of them with a, a degree or a, a percentage just to show you how, uh, how to use them. 100% you would use always, so every day, for example, 24-7, which means always, ever, in questions, for example, and constantly. Then we have 90%, and this is usually, usually, but not always, usually, regularly, and so on. There are many others, but I'm just going to list the most important ones. 80%, generally, normally. 70%, often or often. There are two pronunciations. You can say often or often. It's your choice. Frequently. Then we have 50% and here we skip 60% and we go to 50%. Sometimes, periodically. Then we have 30%. We skipped 40. 30% occasionally. Occasionally. 10% seldom. And then we have 5%, which is rarely, hardly ever, almost never. And normally we have 0%, which is never. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you the examples. So we're back with the adverbs of frequency. Let me tell you that I have a lesson on adverbs and you can click here if you want to watch that lesson. But going back to adverbs of frequency, we use adverbs of frequency, usually, but not always, with the present simple. And I gave you an example. The first example is with the present simple. She always stays up late at the weekend. Now, I also underlined at the weekend because at the weekend is a time expression. And we place the time expression at the weekend, at the end of the sentence or at the beginning. It's the same thing. At the weekend, she always stays up late. It's the same. But most importantly, where is the adverb of frequency placed? Yes, it's before the main verb, to stay. So she always stays, 100% always, stays up late at the weekend and is placed before the main verb. There are exceptions. Now, let's take a look at the first exception I have for you. Ashley was sometimes late for class last month. And in this case, we have the verb to be. The verb to be is almost always an exception. And where is the adverb of frequency placed? Yes, is after, right? Not before. It's after the verb to be. So, 
Ashley was sometimes, okay, placed right after the verb to be, late for class last month. Last month, it, again, here is a time expression and it is placed at the end of the sentence or could be at the beginning. I could have said, last month, Ashley was sometimes late for class. It's the same thing. Now, let's take a look at the third example with a negative sentence. I don't usually watch reality shows on TV. Here, the adverb of frequency is always placed before the main verb, watch, even though I have a negative sentence, right? I don't, that's negative in the present simple or simple present tense. So you can see usually is placed just before the main verb. Now let's take a look at a question with the present perfect simple. Have my students ever got tired of my lessons? In this case, we have ever. And as I said before, we use ever with questions. And obviously, where is it placed? Yes, right before the main verb to get tired. Now, if you want to watch a lesson on get, you may click here. Going back to adverbs of frequency, we said that uh, get tired is the main verb and we place the uh, adverb of frequency before it. Now, if we wanted to uh, answer to that question and we wanted to say no, so we say no and then we use they have, we don't use again not because we need uh, an adverb. And the adverb that I want to use here is never. So it's zero percent. It's the opposite of always. They have never got tired. And in this case, like uh, I said before, get tired is the main verb. Now let's take a look at the last example. And this may sound a little bit weird for you because it's a formal, informal context, an informal sentence. We use the adverb of frequency before anything else. So we want to stress the fact that, for example, in this case, rarely, rarely, adverb of frequency, would he speak his own language in class. Now, would, would be the auxiliary, then we have the subject, he, and then the verb, speak his own language in class. You will see this in a very formal contest, so pay a cl a close attention adverb of frequency before, and then we use the auxiliary plus the subject plus the main verb. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we took a look at adverbs of frequency, such as always, often, usually, never, ever, etc. They're usually placed before the main verb, but after the verb to be. They can be placed at the beginning of a sentence to make the meaning stronger. These are used in informal contests. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any requests or any comments, or if you want to type your own example, you may do so under this video. Enjoy your day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, uh, see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.